Whoa! Oh, okay, that's that's him. I thought that was her. So I was gonna have to edit some shit out here. And he wakes up alone. What? She never even took my pants off? God damn it, I passed out again before the sex. This always happens. Scholars tell us that the first spy in history was the snake in the book of Genesis. In that story, it was Eve who was tempted by the snake in the Garden of Eden. But this time around, it was I who tempted the snake and got away with the forbidden fruit of knowledge. Mmm, she probably stole the philosopher's, uh, Baby yep. Snake. She did. She stole the philosopher's, whatever the fuck it was called. I forgot already. Thanks for the memories. Snake fucker. What's this? Duke Nukem Forever. Oh, this is the only copy. Oh, let me throw it out. We'll delay the game's release for 15 years. I did drug you. Lots of date rape. First of all, I have to apologize. I wasn't sent by Khrushchev. Huh. I'm not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. Duh. You knew there was going to be a twist. People's Republic of China. Oh, shit. Even though I'm not Chinese, and the Chinese would never recruit me. Look at that ass. Look, she didn't even leave yet. She's outside. You could go catch her right now if you wanted, but you have to have that cigar first. The philosophers still exist in China, too. You see, my mission was to find out where Volgan was hiding the philosopher's legacy and steal it. Uh -huh. So I infiltrated his base as a KGB spy. The two NSA codebreakers who defected in 1960 were actually both men. Ah. The real Adam never showed up at the meeting place. <clears throat> saving me the trouble of having to eliminate him. I sneaked in by pretending I was Eva. And you... So it wasn't Adam and Eve, it was Adam and Steve. You all believed me. <laughs> The philosopher's legacy was originally held in common between the U.S., Soviet Union, and China. We couldn't let the Russians and the Americans take it all for themselves. The Chinese government had its eye on the legacy, too. I got the film containing the legacy. And also the nuclear missile launch data from the Shagohad. Five years ago, the Soviet Union stopped supplying us with nuclear weapons technology. Since then, China's Liandan easing, hydrogen bomb, and space rocket projects have fallen behind. But with this data, our country will be able to develop its own nukes. We'll create a deterrent force to rival those of the U.S. and Soviet Union. Everything has gone according to plan, thanks to your help. <laughs> well, thanks to you, China's now the world superpower. Thanks a I lot, one of asshole. <laughs> of the philosophers, a graduate of one of their charm schools. I was raised in a joint U.S.-Soviet-Chinese facility to a sleeper agent. This was before the war. Back then, they were collecting children from all over the world. As a result, I'm indistinguishable from a native-born American. Right. So it didn't surprise me when you and Vulcan couldn't tell the difference. But she knew right from the beginning. She knew because before the war, she was at one of the philosopher's schools, too, as an instructor. The boss was the only one I couldn't fool. She was the only one who knew I was a fake. <laughs> but she just didn't give a shit. <clears throat> she told me everything. Why did she open her heart to me like that? At the time, I, I couldn't understand it. But now, I think I do. Snake. She wanted you to know the truth. What? She <laughs> chose me to tell you. 
That's why she saved my life. These are the non-HD sprites. They never updated the I've videos. I've so many times, but not this time. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy. And to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. In other words, I'm supposed to kill you. If you're listening to this, you're already dead. But I can't do it. Not because we loved each other. And not because you saved my life. But because I made a promise to the boss. And I intend to keep it. Boobs. I just wanted you to know. I never got to see your boobs. It's disappointing. Just once, come on. I have to live. What the fuck? It's self-destructed like Inspector Gadget or uh, Get Smart. <laughs> yes. Uh -oh. Snake, on? listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No. Far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Self-sacrifice. Hey, Look, dog, it's the fuck paramedic, too. She's in love with him. Hey, why are we all clapping? I don't know. <laughs> you are above even the boss. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. award you the ribbon of stupidity because you, you were the only person dumb enough stupid. to undertake that mission. <laughs> You're a big dummy. Legend of Big Boss was born. Amazing! He ate a lot of snakes and some tasty frogs and rabbits. He motorboated Ava's titties. And now he is the Big Boss. Fuck you. I don't know who you are, man. Your hand looks dirty, too. Look at that. Shun them. unit like Fox in the army. Someone like him to handle our top secret sneaking missions for us. Ooh. A man who combines the qualities of a soldier and an agent. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the U.S. government. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy. Huh. And the boss was the star of the show. They planned it so that they could get the legacy that Colonel Vulgan inherited and destroy the Shagohot at the same time. Only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Vulgan's trust. Finding out where the Philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going oh, no. to plan. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Vulgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. Huh. And that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it. Not ever. Not ever. 
this they concluded would be the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. Then they made a trilogy of games about it, so no one would know what happened. She would be allowed to come back home alive, and she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That's my that horse, bitch. The government wanted it. Hands off. That was the mission she was given, and she had no choice but to carry it out. The big boss. In her hands was a duty she had to fulfill. Out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. A lesser woman would have been crushed by such a burden. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. The taint of disgrace. Future generations will revile her. In America as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history <laughs> as a war criminal. And in Bulgaria as a cherished and serial mascot. Her. Delicious boss puffs. Yes. Was her final mission. Her boss balls, now sugar coated boss balls. And like a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. But I think she wanted you, of all people, to know the truth. She wanted to live on in your memory. Not as a soldier. What the fuck? You brought the gun? <laughs> as a woman. What the hell? But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me. 1920X. Make history will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. She's an unsung hero. Her story, her debriefing. Endure only in your heart. <laughs> Everything she did. How did you not wake up during this insanely she loud sacrificed speech? Sacrificed her life and her <laughs> honor for her native land. She was a real hero. She was a true patriot. Okay. October 15th, 1964, Khrushchev is ousted from power. Brezhnev becomes the first Secretary of Communist Marty with Kozjin as Premier. October 16th, 1964, China's successful nuclear test of the Taklamaka Desert. 1965, Signet joins ARPA, takes on the part of ARPANET. 1966, the U.S. government conducts a study on emergency medical treatment. 1968, Ava disappears without a trace in Hanoi. Right, so the paramedic establishes the nation's first paramedic system. 1970, Major Zero disbands Fox. 1970, the United States accumulates the remainder of the legacy. The U.S. major philosopher changes the name to the Patriots. 1971, carrying on the traditions of Major Zero, the Fox unit, Big Boss, establishes Foxhound. 1972, the Les Enfants Terribles Project. The sons of Big Boss are born. Liquid Snake, Solid Skake, Solidus Skank, and someone else. <laughs>